Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. All right, so I just did a shopping haul at Restaurant Depot. Restaurant Depot. Look that place up in your area. It's a, a wholesale uh, food distributor for restaurants. So I know you're going to say, okay, I don't own a restaurant. You don't have to own a restaurant. All you need to do is own a business or know someone that owns a business and that someone can get up to five memberships off of that one membership from that person. Okay, so no excuse. Get that done and get over to Restaurant Depot because, you know, meat and food is through the roof. And I'm here, you know, as always to show you how to get it much, much cheaper. Oh, I got a good shopping haul for you today. All right, give this a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe. I went to get my Thanksgiving food and things are so cheap until I just went on and did my regular grocery shopping. And you know, maybe I'm gonna have that for Thanksgiving. We'll see, okay? All right, so let me show you what I got, please. To start off with, Here's my receipt, Restaurant Depot, okay, for ground beef. I got 10 pounds, 7 ounces of ground beef right here. And I, you see what I paid? I paid $30.51, okay, for the ground beef. Then I got... A 21-25 count bag of shrimps, which was Jimbo shrimps, for $15.62 right here. $15.62. Okay. Then I got, this is the best haul, guys. The best. I got 40 pounds of drumsticks. 40 pounds of drumsticks for $15.20 right here okay put that up close so you can make sure you get those numbers see that fifteen dollars and twenty cents forty pounds of drumsticks okay so my total cost that I spent for the uh, shrimp the ground beef and the chicken sixty one dollars and thirty three cents $61.33. Now you know that's a good deal. So I know you're going to say, okay, I can't use 40 pounds of drumsticks. No, you can't. And maybe you can. You know, if you have some place to store it, you can. If you don't, you can sell some to your sister, your mother, your friend. Oh, they'll be, they'll be happy to get some cheap meat, right? But fresh and good. And when you go to Restaurant Depot, Remember, you're getting it as fresh as possible because you're not getting it from the store, which is the middleman. You're getting it straight from the source. Okay, so let me show you what I bought and how we're going to break that down and what's the cost when I break it down. Okay, let me do that. Let's give it a thumbs up. Restaurant Depot. Share the video and subscribe. Let's do it. Okay guys, here's the 40 pounds of chicken drumsticks. Look at that. Okay, uh oh. So let's see, let me adjust the camera. I'm gonna, oh let me show you the size. Nice, right? Decent size. So I'm gonna uh, package it up and show you how many packages I got. And how many pieces is here? And I'm going to divide those pieces into the $15 and some change. And let you know what how much each piece costs. Oh, now this one you're going to love. Okay, so I'm going to package it up. And I'll bring you back at some point. Thanks. Okay, so I'm putting six drumsticks in a bag. Now, of course, at your house, you're going to put it according to you and the number of people that you're feeding, right? And, the, you know, the reason why that we pay, we pay through the nose is because 
we're paying the middleman, the grocery store. If you cut them out, you can save a lot of money. Now, Sam's and BJ's is good, but they are not really, they don't, their prices don't really get down to these prices at all. So you might want to definitely consider Restaurant Depot. And guess what? There's no charge for membership. No charge for membership. You know how Sam's and BJ's, they charge $35 a year? This is zero. How about that, huh? Can't beat that. So I have four bags already, and I'm still going on these 40 pounds of chicken drumsticks. It was 33 cents a pound. 33 cents a pound. Can you believe that? That's incredible. You can't even get a bag of chips for 33 cents. You can get a pound of chicken drumsticks for 33 cents. That's incredible. Okay, I'm still packing up my six per package. And they're so big until there's no reason that you wouldn't you would need more than two at all. Really. Okay, so I'm going to finish doing this and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I'm going to finish putting the, um, six drumsticks in each bag. Let's count how many bags I have. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve bags. I'm writing it down. Twelve bags that have uh, six pieces in it each. So twelve bags times six pieces equals my calculate. Here it is. So you got 12 times 6 is 72 pieces of chicken. 72 pieces. And so if you have 72 pieces, you're going to divide that into the cost, which is $15.20. Divided by 72. Uh, okay. That's 21 cents a piece. 21 cents per drumstick. Oh, my, my, my. So that's 72 divided into 1520 is 0.21. 21 cents a piece. Wow. Guys, that's what I'm talking about. So let's say you got a family of, of, of four and you want to give each person two drumsticks, okay? So that'd be two, four, six, that'd be eight. Eight times 0.21, 21 cents. That would be a dollar 68 cents for eight drumsticks for a meal. A dollar sixty-eight cent. You see what I'm talking about? Oh, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put the drumsticks away and we're gonna move on to uh, the uh, shrimp next. Thank you. Okay, so here's the bag of shrimp. It says raw shrimp, Jimbo, and the count is 21-25 right here this is the count 21-25 raw shrimp okay in the jimbo size and the shrimp was $15.62 
So let's write that down. Fifteen dollars and I said twenty-two cents. No, sixty-two cents. Okay, so now let's break down the shrimp and see how we can, how many um, meals we can get out of the shrimp. Okay, that's the size Jimbo shrimp, pretty big, right? So we're going to put 12 in a bag, which would feed two people. So each person gets six Jimbo shrimp. Okay, so I'm going to see how many uh, bags of shrimp that I can get out of this one bag. And Oh, let's see what's the weight. Two pounds. Right there. Okay. Alright, now I'll bring you right back. I'll count it up. Okay, so I ended up with one, two, three bags of shrimp that have 12 shrimp in it each, and one bag that have eight shrimp in it. The total was 32 shrimps in the two pound bag, and 32 shrimp divided into the cost, which was $15.52, comes out to 48 cents per shrimp. Mmm. Think about that. 48 cents per shrimp. So if two people had six shrimp each, which is a total of 12, we would do 0.48 times uh, 12. That would be $5.76 for dinner for two uh, on the Jimbo shrimp. Now that's a good deal. 48 cents a shrimp. Oh, you can't beat that, guys. You can't beat it. Okay, I'm going to move on to the ground beef now, which is extremely high in the store. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the ground beef. It's 10.7 pounds. So this is 10.7 pounds. From Restaurant Depot. See that? Okay. And the cost was uh, $30.51 for the 10.71 pounds. And it comes out to $3.03 .03 a pound. So let's see how many portions, how many meals I can get out of these 10.7 pounds. Okay, I'll be right back with the breakdown. Okay, for the ground beef, I think I want to show you how I'm breaking this down because they do sell the size at your regular grocery store or maybe even half the size. And a lot of people look at look at it and they say, well, I can't cook all that at one time. No, you, you, you don't need to. But what we are going to do is break this down. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut it right in half. Because half is five pounds, right? Okay, look how fresh that is. And look at the date. I should have showed you the date. Or maybe, oh, here it is. I didn't cut through it. Thank God. Okay, it says packed by 11 4, November 4th, freeze by 11 25. You see that? And today is the 21st. So you can see how fresh this is. Now, if you got this from a grocery store, they would repackage it in their own label and they'll put another date on there, whatever date they want to stretch it to. Okay? 
All right, so now I'm going to cut this paper. Okay, so normally when you buy ground beef, you would probably buy anywhere between, uh-oh, anywhere between one and two pounds, okay? Depending on your size of the family, okay? I think I'm going to go with the one pound. Okay, I'm going to call that a pound. Now remember, you can package it up in one pounds and you can use two, three, whatever you want to do. Okay. And I did wipe the counter down after the chicken and the shrimp. Okay, so one half was five pounds. And so I have five one-pound packages here. See? One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And now I want to... And that's give or take. Okay, now this one, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to cut the paper, the plastic. Now, with this portion, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do five parts. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we have ten one pound packages give or take Ten one pound packages. Okay. Now some of this I'm going to make it into hamburger patties and I'll show you that. Let me wash my hands. Okay, first I want to do the math. So we have 10 one pound packs divided into $30.51. Let's see what that comes out to. $31.51 divided into 10. 
Okay, so that's for one pound of hamburger, we'll get, we, we got $3.15 for one pound of hamburger. So for one meal, using one pound of hamburger is going to cost you $3.15. Let me write that down. Okay, so I'm going to bag this up and I'll come right back. Okay, so I have this, um, what do you call it, hamburger maker, I guess. You just basically put the hamburger here, you push it down, you make hamburger patties. So hamburger patty maker, how about that? I think I got this from a uh, job lot for... I want to say $4.99, I believe. Inexpensive there. Okay, so we're going to make some hamburger patties. So, so far I have seven bags of one pound hamburgers. Seven bags. So these other three, we're going to make hamburgers. So I just broke off. See? I just broke off a piece. And now we're going to kind of spread it a little bit with your hand. Then we're going to help it with the hamburger masher. And push it down. And there we go. Okay, so you can make them as thick as you want. This is about a quarter pounder, I'd say. Yeah. it down. There we go. Even leave the nice marks on it. Look at that. And you might have to help form it some. So I'm putting it in and I'm pushing it around to try to cover all the area. If you need another little piece, you get another little piece and you put it where you need it. And then you push down. Now if you don't have one of these, you can get a big top off of uh, something, you know, I don't know, a mayonnaise jar, anything that you have a big top on. And you can use that, but put some uh, plastic on it so that it doesn't stick to it when you try to get it out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to finish making these and I'll bring you back. Okay, so in addition to the seven one pound packages, I have, I put the quarter pounders in individual bags and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I got one here I left to show you. Nine quarter pounders. Look how fresh that looks. So remember when I did the math. It came out to $3.15 for a pound of ground beef. Now when I buy a package of ground beef, it's at least 
five to six dollars and that's a pound okay and when you um, package the um, patties like this you know you can it let's say everybody's not going to be home for dinner and maybe it's just two of you you can just pull out a couple or however many you want so that it's not all matted together it's, it's individually wrapped okay so let me conclude my shopping haul in conclusion for the restaurant depot shopping haul please guys consider this consider this and go get your meats from there you see how i paid 60 was it 61 dollars or something like that for for the Jimbo shrimp, the 40 pounds of chicken, and the 10.7 pounds of uh, ground beef. 60 some dollars. It was, where is it? Here it is. $61.35. $61.35. Can you believe this? This is what I'm talking about, guys. $61.35. I'm trying to get the whole picture on the video so so that you can really see. There we go. You can't beat that. You can't beat it. No, you can't. Okay. And how many meals are we going to get out of that? Oh, my, 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 my. Well, let's see. To start with, we had 12 packs of chicken drumsticks with six in each package. That's at least uh, 12 meals right there. And then we we had three packs of shrimp uh, and that was for two people so that's at least three meals for two people. And then we had uh, seven pounds of ground beef that's seven meals. And then we had nine hamburger patties. We're going to call that two meals. So let's add it up. So that's nine meals for the ground beef. And then three more for the shrimp. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then uh, another twelve for the chicken. That's twenty-four meals. Twenty-four meals for sixty-one dollars and thirty-one cents. $61.31. Incredible. Okay. Talk to you soon. Love you. Love you. Love you. Share the video. Subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm working hard over here for you. Okay. And I want you to benefit it. And I'm telling you, you do this, you'll benefit with your uh, cost. And also, they don't sell just meat. They sell everything there. Okay, check it out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.